Compression garments are one of the best ways to help manage swelling in the legs, but some may explain that they never work for them and their swelling. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist that specializes in oncology rehab and lymphedema. And in this video, let me share with you why compression stockings may not work for swelling. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also join with us on Instagram for more related content and check out my website for more resources. Compression therapy involves wearing special compression garments, such as compression stockings, garments, toe caps, etc., that apply a gentle pressure to the affected area that has swelling. So this helps to reduce swelling and improve circulation when someone's wearing compression. Now, why wouldn't they work for someone? There are a few reasons why, so let's go through each of them. The main reason I see them not working is because doctors may prescribe or a patient may try going into a compression stocking when they have swelling without reducing that swelling first. So let's explain this. Compression garments are considered maintenance garments. And the goal of compression stockings is to help manage and maintain that reduced size of fluid volume after compression bandaging did the work to bring the fluid down. So if someone tries to go and wear a compression garment or stocking right away and has more moderate to severe lymphedema or thickened hardened tissue from fibrosis, then these compression stockings are not going to be as effective to bring that swelling down first. So yes, stockings and compression garments or even compression sleeves may work for someone who has really mild swelling or edema, maybe who just swells during the day. Um, in the morning, they look better. So they'll wear them to keep the swelling down or get rid of that little bit that's there. That might work, yes. But once someone gets to a more moderate stages of swelling or higher, then this is no longer going to work. So going through phase one of complete decongestive therapy or CDT is necessary to get rid of the swelling, bring the fluid and the volume down, and then transition into compression stockings or garments that fit correctly and are more likely to then be effective. The other reason why compression stockings or garments may not work for someone is if they are not the correct type or size. It's very important that stockings and garments are measured and fitted to someone correctly. Not only can these be very difficult to get on, which many will say, but if they are too tight, they can cause a tourniquet and be painful and possibly even make the swelling worse. If they don't fit correctly because they are too loose or too large, they also may not be effective to help manage the swelling and someone's just going to swell right through them. So there are several factors or other factors that can all play a role in having an effective compression stockings, including the following. So the first is size. Like we just talked about, it is important to select a garment that fits properly in order to provide the necessary level of compression. So if the size is wrong, like I mentioned, and it's worn, it may not help manage the swelling and it can also potentially cause that tourniquet. And what is that tourniquet? So it typically happens when a compression garment rolls down and it creates this almost rubber band that's really tight on that area because of the multiple layers um, that are added from that. And when that happens, think of a rubber band on someone, it will really pinch in causing that tourniquet and that's going to affect fluid flow. And also it can be painful and really make the swelling worse and back up more. So that's what a tourniquet is. And if the compression garment's not fitted correctly, it can cause that tourniquet. So along with the most common place being that tourniquet at the top of the garment from it rolling down, the other places I see are places of creases. So the ankle crease, elbow crease, anything that we bend or move a lot, even clothing, they're going to bunch up in those areas. But if the compression stocking or garment is not fitted correctly or fitting well, or maybe it's too loose, it can bunch up easier in those places. And that can also create a tourniquet, which can make swelling worse and cause pain. 
So to avoid these tourniquets, the first thing I like to do is to try to get one, or a compression garment that has a silicone band at the top. This just has silicone beads, there's silicone stripes as well. It is a thicker band at the top. It's a little bit more um, sturdy, so it's less likely to roll. If someone just has the fabric, it's really easy to bunch and roll. If someone has the one with the band, they don't bunch as easily and are less likely to cause that tourniquet in those issues. So that would be the first thing that I look for if someone has the tourniquet issue. So next let's talk about material. Lymphedema garments are made of a variety of materials, including elastic, nylon, and spandex. And there are two main types of compression garments, circular knit and flat knit. Circular knit garments are typically ready to wear garments. They come in off the shelf sizing like uh, small, medium, or large, and they don't have any seams. So here is an example. There are no seams on it all the way around and they are most effective for someone who has really mild lymphedema or mild swelling or day-to-day -day use. If someone has more moderate or severe lymphedema, then a flat knit garment is going to be best. A flat knit garment has a seam. That's a little bit hard to see, but they're sewn in a way that they have a seam. And they, the majority of them are custom made for someone. So they are fitted specifically for someone's body. They do come in off the shelf as well, but they will still have a seam. So flat knit garments are less elastic than a circular knit garment. They have a lot less stretch than a circular knit garment, but that flat knit, that thicker elastic or less elastic is going to allow for more containment of the fluid and the swelling. It is going to be a lot more effective for lymphedema. If someone is trying out a circular knit garment and it's causing issues like pain or simply they're just saying that it's not working, they're still swelling with them, it may be because someone will need to be transitioning into a flat knit garment based on their swelling and that the flat knit are really necessary for many cases of lymphedema because of that containment level, but also to be able to then get that customized shape or fit to avoid issues like the tourniquet. So everyone's body is going to be different. Coming in and off the shelf, just one size fits all per se, isn't going to be the same for everyone based on where their swelling is and their body shape and type. So getting that custom flat knit garment will be able to help form for someone specifically. So when someone says to me that the compression stockings don't work for them or haven't worked for them, this is a really common issue that I see and something that can make a really big difference doing that small switch for someone to try to help manage their lymphedema and their swelling. And the last factor that we are going to talk about in this video is compression level. Lymphedema garments are available in different levels of compression, ranging from mild all the way up to very strong and the appropriate level of compression will depend on the severity of the lymphedema or swelling and each individual's needs as well. So for mild swelling, 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury of pressure or MMHG is what it spells on the box, may be enough for someone. This is considered a basic medical grade compression. Sometimes people can get away with even with 15 to 20 but others may need to increase from this baseline compression to 30 to 40 millimeter degree of pressure or even higher for more severe lymphedema. Some people even need to double up and wear two compression stockings that are custom on top of each other, flat knit garments um, at 20 to 30 or 30 to 40 and then 20 to 30 on top of each other. Again, it's just going to vary, but that compression level does make a difference. At many drug stores, or if someone's buying compression stockings online, compression stockings in the store like a Walgreens or a Walmart only typically go up to 15 to 20 millimercury of pressure. Sometimes you can find a 20 to 30, but they're again, they're gonna be the really basic level compression. Some may even be only eight to 15. So it's important to look that on the side of the box of what level compression that is. Because if someone, or I have someone come in and explain that they've tried compression stockings and they didn't work for them, but it turns out and I ask, you know, what kind you were wearing and look at them, they were a non-medical grade compression stocking, which simply wasn't enough to do the trick for them. So combining a higher level grade compression with the correct material and size all can play a role in a better and more effective compression stocking. 
it's important to know that there is also not one or two options of compression garments that work for everyone. So it may become a trial and error for someone to find what works best for them. There are still a few cases that stockings or garments won't work for someone, but typically it's because of another medical condition or issue, or simply they aren't able to get them on and off. And if that's the case, trying a donning aid or another treatment option may be the next step for that person. A certified lymphedema therapist will be able to help determine which stocking or garment may be best and make an individualized plan for each person. So if you're looking for more on these topics, I have videos on donning and doffing or getting stockings on and off, compression donning aids, and other treatment options on my channel, as well as I go more in depth in my lower body lymphedema rehab program, which can be found on my website linked in the description box down below. I hope you all found this video helpful and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.